All right. I guess this is a Saturday morning midday talk on AMC. I guess people need to people need to get some clarity on what this entire thing is. Okay. We had a long period of time where we held stock in the number one short squeeze that I have ever seen in my life. And I've been around this a good long time. And that's not just me saying that. There's a lot of people that were serious investors that even at first when they thought, nah, 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 mean stock, whatever. And they looked at it, they knew this thing was a monster. But at the same time, they had the same consensus I had. There's no way in the world they're going to allow us to have that because it was tied to many major players. The amount of money that will have to be paid out to 3.8 to 4 million shareholders publicly and God knows whatever they oversold to was going to be impossible. Because just imagine, do the math, what let's say 5 or 6 million shareholders holding 500 apiece at let's say a couple of hundred to a thousand dollars a share. Understand? That's a crisis. Anyway, moving forward. All the things that have happened along the way on the greatest short squeeze play ever, um, you know, the company dumping its stock, the company creating aid, the company putting hit pieces on their own thing. Christ, they even bought a gold mine that doesn't produce gold. Talk about talk about hitting the company's reputation. What is a movie theater buying a gold mine for? Anyway. Then we were wrapped up in this nonsense where they started to do the reverse split. And I don't know why people thought that was a surprise because when ape was created i said and everybody remembers me back then on the space call i said this is not about these extra shares it's about the voting right and in the future they're going to convert them back to amc this was to circumvent us so that was a complete break of the fiduciary responsibility we didn't vote for that we didn't vote for the reverse split we didn't vote for any of this i called it back then and nobody did anything then we go forward, we got this uh, this lawsuit, this charade, this Allegheny charade. All this, all this lawsuit did was basically rubber stamp it, okay? It meant nothing. It delayed it for a while, and you started to see the cost of borrow rising, no shares available, AMC price started rising again, and then when the judge said no to the first settlement, you saw AMC stock started to go up. Then what happened? He put out the hit piece letter. We went down, bought him more time. All this process going forward was basically a big sham. Then we had Izzo put in the appeal. The appeal shot down. Really? Really? Yeah. None. That's just, just, just leave it at that. So here we are now. The reverse split has happened. There is no more eight. And now on Monday, we get dilution from the distribution of the settlement, shares slash cash. Then AMC is going to go ahead and dump stocks. Some people talk 6 million. Some people talk 25 million. Nobody knows because AMC popcorn has not put that out there. Now, going forward, we have some people getting locked out of accounts, uh, accounts being shut down for a while, all these kind of crazy stuff. Float numbers are all over the place. Cost to borrow. Everything is all off. Pricing, who's getting. There are people in the same household that have two different accounts and they're showing two different numbers. But let's just look at it like this. Going forward, we're going to have to ride this thing out. Whether you sell, whether you buy, whether you hold, we're going to have to ride this forward. There is no more, well, we're going to do this court thing. We're going to do that. The event happened. The cleanup operation is happening right now as we speak. Right now as we speak, they probably got computers matching, you know, IOUs with all of these different possible new shares and God knows what. They started this even the night before the reverse split went into effect. Understand something. All we can do at this point is see if after this is all done, is the reverse split, the dilution, the, the, the elimination of eight and the extra shares they put out on the street, is that enough to cover the mayhem that they did behind the street? Because that is the only thing that matters. If their math is off, they will get punished. If their math is correct, we get punished. If we hold on to our shares and eventually somebody comes in to buy this, we will get rewarded. If we hold on to our shares and positive numbers come out, we'll get rewarded and have an exit plan. At this point, there is no more, hey, let's talk about this. Let's do this. What about this court case? Whatever. The fix was in. When eight came out, for the people that remember me on that space call, I said it. This was it. 
The voting rights was the key thing. They took a bold move what they did, but guess what? They did it because they knew nobody was going to fuck with them. And at the end of the day, we're living that outcome now. So can we still make positive numbers on this? Like I said, it's all based on the math at the end of the, the, the cleanup operation. Do you understand? It's all based on the news that comes around it. It's all based on how much debt AMC AMC did this entire thing to renegotiate debt. We're going to see how that works out. But if anybody thinks they're going to turn around and, ha we did this and we're working with this person and we're talking to this and we're going to do this lawsuit. The ship has already sailed. The operation has already begun. People have less shares. People have disappeared. Their money's not even showing up yet. They don't even know what their number is. There's nothing that could be done. Please understand this you cannot undo this because they're still in the process of doing it. Write it out. Do what you can. I'm going to be talking about it for the next couple of days. And at the end of the day, there's nothing else. AMC is done with it. It's just going to be, I mean, unless you want to hold on to a possible whatever. And like I said, I might as well just for the for whatever it is, I have other investments going on. Obviously, X-Force. So I have my plan there. But I needed people to understand this because... Why don't we do this? Why don't we do that? Why can't we do this? Why can't we set this up? And the thing is, if you don't get it, the event already happened. That's like trying to talk to some guy to like not have a fight in the middle of a fight. Like he's punching you and you're like, you know what? I think that if we sit down, we could talk this over. The fight is on. Okay. You're in the fight. There's nothing you could do about it. So I just want to get that into everybody's head. We're going to ride this thing out. Some people are going to leave. Some people are going to come in. Some people are going to stay. Whatever it is, but it is on. And there's nothing that could be done at this point. Why? Because the fix was in. That's all it is.